Hey, day 81. Life according to Yobo. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. I'm getting straight into the message now. I talked more than I meant to talk on yesterday, but honey, it's all good. On this journey, finding out the 10 steps to be an overnight success, giving life to the vision. Let's get into the message right away, okay? How y'all doing today? I'm sorry, forgive me for being rude. We left off two days ago. We were talking about you writing down the vision. People being able to read your vision. We talked about living in reality. We don't want to focus so much on what I'm going to get and how quick I'm going to get it. And then that, you know, woo, the little magic world where God's just going to drop something on you. He gave me a vision and I know God's going to bring it to pass. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. No, that ain't going to happen, okay? Now, if that's what you want to believe, you go ahead and believe. But I'm going to tell you something. That ain't going to happen. All right. I gave you a task, and that is to write your vision. I just wanted this much. Write your vision, make it plain. Reread it, is it plain? When you have that vision, you have to hold on to your vision, no matter how far-fetched it is. I had a vision years ago. When I tell you it was the most far-fetched vision. Everything in it made absolutely no sense. This year, on July 20th, 2015, that vision is going to come to pass just like I saw it. All the crazy stuff in there that didn't exist, even in the location where it took place, those things weren't there at the time. And now, July 20th, that vision is going to come to pass. I was just sitting up thinking about a while, three months from now, what is today? March 22nd when I'm recording this video. It's hard to believe, no, not July, June, June the 20th. Three months from now, in less than three months, I'm going to see a vision come to pass. So take your vision and write it. Like I said, if it makes no sense at all, I'm going to tell y'all later what it was. I can't tell you can't tell you right now because I'm going to start crying. See, look at my eyes. Can you see? I was telling my sister about it, and I started crying. And I'm too cute. I <laughs> got my little hair done. Got my makeup on. <laughs> got my jewelry on. Mm -mm, I'm not trying to start crying. Okay, your vision. List four methods of canal. Same paper. You got your vision. I want you to list four methods methods of communication you have used to spread your vision. I said just do what you do. If you write poetry, write poetry, record yourself reciting a poem. I'm doing my video. My four methods of communication, one is word of mouth. See how simple it is? See me talking? Word of mouth, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Now, previously, we toured the country sharing our message. We've been in 20, 25 cities across the country with our conference, Silly Women, the conference. And you can go to the website, sillywomen.info, and the ABCs of Life Youth Conference, the ABCs of Life.info. We did that for years, up until my daddy broke his foot. Then we had to come off the road. I had to take care of daddy. He passed away in 2013. So during that two year time, a lot of my team members went back to school. My sister Gail is earning her uh, Associate of Arts degree in May. Lakeisha is earning her PhD. Antoine is in uh, Divinity School. Uh, and Dante is, um, He's writing and he's doing, a, Dante got so much stuff going on, I don't even have time to tell you what Dante is doing. Jorge, even Jorge is earning his, his uh, Bachelor of Arts degree from Cal State Dominguez. So during that time, we've taken a little hiatus, but I still have to continue doing what I'm doing. I can't let that stop me. So what's the four methods of communication you have used? If you're not using Facebook, 
YouTube, Twitter, and running your mouth, that's fine. Uh, print some flyers. There's a whole lot of things you can do when you write the vision. You got to advertise yourself. What other methods can you begin to use? And see, start thinking about what can I do? One thing you can do is you can offer your services if you sing. Just call someone and say, hey, girl, if you're doing something at your church or just post it on Facebook. If you need someone to sing in an event, call me. Now, don't be greedy and you want $150 to come sing. And also, people, if you see Sister Watermelon has posted a message about coming to sing, don't have the woman drive 60 miles all the way across town. Get a woman 20 or $25 for gas. Do something at least to say thank you. You can't always pay people, but at least be appreciative when people are offering their services. Okay, now you got it. You write the vision. You start spreading the word about yourself. You self-promote. What do you think I'm doing right now? Life according to Yobo. I'm talking about myself. If I don't talk about myself, guess what? Nobody else is going to be talking about me. So take your Facebook page. If you make chocolate chip cookies, bake a batch of cookies, put a picture of your cookies on the page. I have another friend, LaShawn. Everywhere she go, if there's a prophesying prophet, they tell her, oh, God's going to bless you with a restaurant. Hold on to that vision. You're getting that restaurant. I told her yesterday, LaShawn, start using your gift. Don't wait for the restaurant. Do some flyers. Start selling Sunday dinner, $29.95. When you get out of church, come on over here. Well, she got to cook on Saturday because she can't miss church on Sunday. But at least once a month, offer Sunday dinners. When people get out of church, what do they do? They go out to eat. Wouldn't it be nice just to leave church, go pick up your dinner, go home and eat, put that little plate right on the floor, <laughs> stretch out on the bed, stretch out across the couch, and just rest and relax? Woo, honey, people would be happy to support a business like that. So that's how you begin to advertise yourself. Spread the word about what you do. Well, guess what? We are done with chapter two. Hallelujah, for real. Let me see if I put my song back on here. Put the Clark sisters back on. Come back tomorrow. Day 81. Come back tomorrow for day 82. We're going to start chapter three, developing your potential. All righty. Clark sisters. Doing what they do best. You go ahead on. You do what you do best. And I will see you tomorrow for day 82 of Life According to Your Mother.